Hello and welcome everyone to another painting video tutorial from Vital Creatives. My name is Ruben Martinez and I'll show you how we painted the miniatures from the Kickstarter from Cool Mini or Not and Spin Master Games. This project is called Marvel United and these miniatures have a chill style and many of you ask to us about how we did this paint job onto these miniatures so I'll show you how we do that remember if you like this content please like and subscribe this video in the YouTube channel of Vital Creatives in order to support us and make more content for you like this. So let's start. Okay. So as probably you might, uh, for the concept art on the bottom right corner of the screen, uh, I'll be painting uh, for this tutorial this miniature, Will of Billions, yeah, his John Doe. And I think it's a pretty good miniature to show you some techniques, tips and tricks about the two style. And I prepared the miniature with a double priming coat, first with black and later with a white spray primer, I prime a little bit from above to the miniature. This, this makes the process more easy. And I uh, have a uh, unglue the this piece of the of the miniature because I found more easy to paint without this piece. So at the end I will glue onto the miniature and I will paint this piece in order to finish the work. Okay? So first of all I'll explain you what I'll use to paint the miniature. Of course the miniature now I'll bring back my wet palette, okay? This is for my mixes. And acrylic paint, I use many brands like Vallejo, Chimera Colors, King's Workshop as well. And at the end, acrylic colors, water based. Okay, they are not toxic and make the process quick and easy. Okay, and a piece of kitchen paper to remove the excess of water, I'll put aside. And the most important part maybe is a very sharp brass like this one. I'm using Da Vinci. Maestro series 35, okay? And number one, with this brass, I completely paint every part of this miniature. So, the most important thing about this is the sharp tip, as you probably notice, okay? So, this is my recommendation in order to be accurate with your brass strokes, okay? So let's start to paint this little guy and I will start adding some base coat, okay? So I'll make some mixes in my wet palette because my base coats are not uniform. I'll take advantage of the double priming coat in black and white in order to paint the saddle part and the 
light parts at the very first beginning. So let's start from the inside part of the miniature. I'll start with the jacket, okay? And for this part I mix magenta, okay? And a little bit of a dark color like this violet, okay? And now I need some color to add a little bit of light to this part, like you could use. For example, this pinkish light tone, okay? Or other color with a lighter value. For example, this one could be another option. I'll put in my palette because I could use this color as well for more mixes later. So for my saddle tone, I'll mix magenta with a little bit of violet in order to darken the tone. Okay, here will be my saddle color for those parts and my light color is a lighter version of this one of course okay now I need to correct a little bit the color because as you can see is too pinkies okay so I will use a little bit of orange in this mix in order to make a little bit desaturated okay like this okay I correct my mixes until I'm happy with results trying to attach and match, better said, the color that I'm seeing in the illustration, okay? Is my main reference to paint these miniatures. Okay, I think is okay. You don't need to, to make something exactly the same for this one you keep in mind only two things you need some darker value for the sounds and some lighter value for the lights okay and now I will start adding the sounds I diluted my paint a little bit in order to have some coverage, okay? And I start painting where I'm seeing the black priming, okay? Because in these places is where the shadow is. It's very easy to, to paint in this way. This is my, my reference of light and shadows, okay? I make sure to cover the surface. Maybe if you don't 
achieve a uniform coverage in one code, you could add another one, okay? And I reserve these white or, or wire spaces for the lights, okay? So I have an uniform coat onto this part and now I'll move onto these other parts which are the same material okay I'll paint some shadows in the lower parts and in the recesses okay like this See how the black priming is flowing in these downside areas of the miniature. And this is why this is your saddle parts for these colors. Okay? This part is pretty the same. And it's very important to make some separation between elements with this color, like I'm doing right now. I'm painting this darker line between the jacket and this other element. And applying another coat where it's needed. Obviously, these parts are more hidden to the light because the light is coming from this side of the miniature. Okay, so it's normal that here are more shadows than here, where is the main light falling directly, okay? I make some black lining here as well. And here. In order to separate the element, okay? Okay, so my saddles for these parts are ready. So now I'll add the lights. Again, I deal with my paint a little bit and the only thing I need to do is to paint over the more exposed areas to the light you remember I leave the white priming areas for this step And this is a guide for me to know where I must to draw these lights, okay? Again, maybe you will need to apply a couple of layers 
in its part in order to achieve a good coverage of the color. It's okay. Okay, I have now defined my wrinkles over this part. Some touches of light in the inside area, but not too much. Like this. Okay, and don't worry about the smooth ring of the gradients, okay? In later steps, we will see a technique which I call air blending <laughs> and it it is very useful to blend these gradients using the eyebrows okay don't worry if you don't have an eyebrows you could make with your brass but I find more quick making this kind of blendings with the eyebrows, okay? Okay, I applied some lights here, here as well, and covering the white priming with these lights another layer in this part again to achieve more solid coverage of the color and the same over this arm okay This is an important step in the miniatures painting because I I need to, to cover every part with these steps, I mean with light and shadow, and then you will see the, the miniature more defined and more coherence for the for your eyes. So, you need to be patient in order to prepare the miniature with all of his lights and shadows. And, of course, you could paint the miniature in a flat mode, okay? It's part with his own color, but this is not the topic of this video. I think you want to see some advanced tricks to achieve a nice result onto your miniatures. So this is why we are explaining you these techniques. About the TV style, I must to say that is very fun to paint because there are some aspects that is not the same that for the other miniatures because we added here some trim lights that it's more common to see this kind of effects in, in illustrations 
if you, what is a twin light if you don't know you could see in the in the illustration in the bottom right corner and you will see a little uh, blue blue is uh, reflection in the right side of the character so this is something that will define better the volumes and add uh, another another uh, ambience to to the miniature more comic style okay and of course you can do in your miniatures we'll see how to make this as well don't worry okay so I'm retouching these lights and it's done, okay?